Hi, I'm Tony Neely with POA Fire. In our ongoing video uh, series on picket systems, today we're going to use the Rescue 3 anchor plate. The benefits of having this system is you simply place the anchor plate on the ground, find a 15 degree angle with your picket, drive them into the ground, hook up your system, and away you go. It completely eliminates the use of webbing. Okay. We have the same system that we've shown in the other videos using webbing in the picket system set up here. So we've got a, a tree that we're using as an anchor in the background. We've got a 25 to 1 set up. We've got a 10,000 pound load cell here that we're going to place at the anchor system that's going to measure our peak forces. And today we've added in the CMC Rescue Enforcer, which is a load cell, on the haul leg of our uh, 25 to 1 system. We want to measure, just out of curiosity, we want to see how much force our haul team is generating compared to the amount of forces that we're seeing over here on our picket anchor. Okay, the, the simplicity of the Rescue 3 anchor plate system is it makes your they're setting up the system very easy and quick. You, you simply place it on the ground, you're going to set your picket in the initial hole, the first hole, you're going to lean it back just like we showed at the other video about the end of your toe to get that 15 degree angle and you're going to drive the pin two-thirds of its total length. So come on in Dave, let's do some driving. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go daddy go, go daddy go. That instills much more confidence in me Si, the way you're striking that. Home. Send it home. Send it home. So you can see they've added a little flange or not, you know, if they put a slight bend. It's one thing to make sure when you're putting this thing into place that you don't have the bend pointed down, but you can see they, they put some thought into the design so that it's not going to get buried in the dirt. You may have to clean it out a little bit like I'm doing. So we're simply just going to hook up our system to it. Get a little slack here. <clears throat> We'll go this way. Alright, so as I was saying earlier, we got the CMC Enforcer. We're going to put this on the haul leg of our, our uh, haul system. And pretty simple operation. Hold the power button. Unit powers up, goes through a quick series of self checks. And what we want to measure today is max force. So simply hold on to max and then. The, the unit will simply just register peak forces that get applied to it. Okay, okay you ready? Alright, so we've got our, uh, our load cell at the anchor. We've got our load cell on the haul legs. Pick system's ready. Haul team is ready. So we're going to start doing our test. Haul team, are you ready? Ready. Haul slow. So we'll see the forces starting to come up. As those haulers go on there so we got one two three four we got five pretty big guys over there pulling you can see the system slowly starting to take some of the load we're up at four thousand here and you can see that our pickets are moving in unison where they're going to start to settle in and then they're just going to lock into place they're not going to go anywhere anymore so they're up to 56 we're going to see if we can get these guys to pull up over six thousand 6,000. All right, stop right there. Stop. Okay, so we've generated right at 6,005 pounds of peak force with five pretty big guys actually pulling downhill on a 25 to 1. Let's go take a look at our CMC Rescue Enforcer. What does it say? So according to our enforcer, the haul team exerted 416 foot pounds of force, which is, is no way. It's got to be more than that. They were putting more than 400 pounds on that. That can't be right, can it? So you can see that we put our Rescue 3 picket anchor system, anchor plate, into, into play. 
very easy to set up. Don't need to use any webbing, simply slap it on the ground, point it in the direction you're gonna pull, set the proper angle for your pickets and drive away. And you can set it up um, three, four times faster than using webbing. It seems to be very strong, sturdy, durable, easy to use. Once we put that 6,000 pounds on there, we got a little bit of movement. But what I liked about it is when you're using webbing to, to set your pickets, you get initial movement in your first picket, then the second one bites. You get movement in your second until the third one bites. And then eventually all three of them integrate and they're carrying the load equally. With this one, they're all three sharing the load from the very initial pull, which I really liked. So they all set in together, they move together, and then they locked in. And our big five pullers, that they were pretty, they were maxed out. And we generated over 6,000 pounds of force. So pretty slick system, I huh? like.